In this video, we're doing integration with back substitutions. So we're going to start with a normal thought of a u sub, u being the inside function x plus 2. So if u is x plus 2, du would be 1 dx. We have a 1 dx, so this dx becomes du. This becomes root u. Now, we know now this is a back substitution because we have an additional x left over in the problem, and we're not allowed to have an additional x in the problem. So here's what we do. We're going to come back to u equals x plus 2, and we're going to subtract a 2 to the other side. If we subtract a 2 to the other side, those cancel, and we get x is equal to u minus 2. We can now back substitute that u minus 2 in place of the x. So now I've got u minus 2 integral. Notice now everything's in terms of u. I want to think now of my square root of u as u to the 1 half power, which will allow me to distribute and get the integral of u to the 3 halves minus 2u to the 1 half du. Well, that's just a reverse power rule. When I integrate u to the 3 halves, I get u to the 5 halves times 2 fifths minus, I have a 2, I'm integrating u to the 1 half, which is 2 thirds u to the 3 halves plus c. And it's not really u, so I have 2 fifths x plus 2 to the 5 halves minus 4 thirds x plus 2 to the 3 halves plus c. Let's do another example. So in my next example, I've got u is x minus 3, du is 1 dx, so this is going to become my du, this piece will become a root u, once again, I have a leftover x, so I'm going to come back over here, and I'm going to add the 3 to the other side. That's going to give me x is equal to u plus 3. So now I can replace this with u plus 3. I want to think of root u as u to the 1 half power, just like the last problem. Like the last problem, we're now going to distribute, so we get u to the 3 halves plus 3u to the 1 half, and we're going to integrate that now. So u to the 3 halves would be u to the 5 halves multiplied by 2 fifths plus 3 times 2 thirds u to the 3 halves plus c. But it's not really u, so we have 2 fifths times x minus 3 to the 5 halves plus these threes are going to cross out, giving you 2x minus 3 to the 3 halves plus c. Let's do another one. So in this example, we have u is the inside function x plus 1. du would be 1dx, so my 1dx becomes my du. I've got a cube root of u squared now I've got this extra x, so again we're going to come over, we're going to subtract the 1, so x is u minus 1, so we're going to put a u minus 1 integral. Now, here's a little different, we've got the u minus 1, we need to remember our algebra 2 that cube root of u squared is really u to the 2 thirds power du. Now we're going to distribute it, so we get u to the 5 thirds minus u to the 2 thirds. Integral. So now let's go ahead and integrate that. So again, using the power rule, we're going to be adding 1. 5 thirds plus 1 would be 8 thirds. So we have 3 eighths u to the 8 thirds. And then here we're going to add 1 again, so that's going to be 5 thirds, so minus uh, 3 fifths u to the 5 thirds plus c. Not really u, though. It's really x plus 1 to the 8 thirds minus 3 fifths x plus 1 
to the 5 thirds plus C. One more example. So here, again, we're doing our standard U sub. U is the inside function, x minus 5. DU, once again, is dx. So dx becomes du. This piece becomes root u. But now, our x is being squared. Well, that doesn't really change this step. Again, we're going to say x is u plus 5, because we're going to add 5 to the other side. Now we've got u plus 5 squared. Well, the only thing that changes is our algebra. We're now going to need to FOIL this term. So if we FOIL that, we get u squared plus 10u plus 25. Let's think of the root u as u to the 1 half power du. Let's distribute that. So if I distribute that, I'm going to get u to the 5 halves plus 10u to the 3 halves plus 25u to the 1 half du. Again, now we can use reverse power rules, so we get u to the 7 halves times 2 sevenths plus 10 u to the 5 halves times 2 fifths plus u to the 3 halves times 2 thirds with the 25 plus c. Not really u, so plug back in 2 sevenths. Uh, u is x minus 5 to the 7 halves plus, well here I can cross cancel the 10 and the 5 making a 2, so I get a 4 x minus 5 to the 5 halves plus here I've got 50 thirds x minus 5 to the 3 halves plus c.